hi guys as promised i will be back with a video update on my new canon selfie photo printer and since i have had almost a week to play around with it i am ready to do that for you all so if you're interested in seeing that then just stick with me okay guys first off i'll begin by saying i do have the cp 1200 model I can't get the whole box in frame because it's too big but I do have the 1200 model and I've been using it and using the printer is extremely easy and it's it's much better since I have had my Wi-Fi issues resolved I can now hook it to my phone or my tablet or whatever I decide to whatever I decide to hook it with in order to print my photos so I will begin by again placing my tray on and I when I when I'm not using it I often take my tray off because I keep everything in the box. I don't have the travel case. There is a travel case for it, but I do take the tray off and put it into a Ziploc bag in order to avoid any dust or anything getting into the tray and touching the paper. So I will put that back on and to get the tray on again it has to be opened here first. This part lays down and this is the part you open in order to load the paper but I don't really have to do that but you open that to load the paper and slide the tray in and I only take my ink cartridge out because I heard of issues where ink cartridges were running out before paper was so I'm not exactly sure if I'll have that same issue but before I load the ink cartridge in I'll also show you that on the cartridge it shows you how many prints How many prints you can expect to get out of that particular cartridge I still have the cartridge that it came with and it on this one it shows that I would have gotten five prints which I did get five accurate prints out of that cartridge and I had turned the machine off and on with that that cartridge in and I didn't have a printing problem. All of the photos actually printed. So load the cartridge back in. And I chose the device that has the optional battery. So I would only need the battery for it if I decide to take it out. And I'm taking, taking it somewhere where I can't print using my wire I'll go ahead on and open the batteries just so you can see what it looks like I haven't used it yet So this is what the battery looks like and the battery attaches on to the back back here of the machine so before I get started on actually printing out some of the photos I would like to show you some of the photos that I have been printing out using the machine my favorite size photos to print are two by threes because I like using them I like printing out small journal size photos and I also like printing out four by threes so for every four by six size for for every four by six sheet of paper you can get two um three by four sizes or you can get four two by three sizes and I'll show you how I do that but first I'll give you a look at just a few of because I have a, a rather large stack of photos here but um, this is just a few so that you can see the quality of 
the prints. prints out really 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 well so I love this size because like I say I um I can go ahead on and tack them into my journal and use them inside of my journal. So I'm gonna show you how I actually print these size photos out. Normally when I print, I use, I print using my cell phone, but since I'm filming the video using my cell phone, I had to go ahead on and use my tablet. So when I am putting my photos together, the app I use to do that with would be Pixar. So first of all, I would have to select, I go into my gallery and select what photos I will print and I'll go ahead on and choose this one, this one, and this one, and, and I guess this one. Okay, and I'll send that to Pixar. And all of, I mean automatically an Instagram size frame comes up. So I have to go to grid here and select the portrait size. And I pick from the portrait size frames, the four picture frame here. And if you want to leave that the thick border on you can but I choose not to the default is set at 12 and I normally go down to one or two and it's at one and before I hit save this is where you position and make sure everything is right in the photo so here if I leave that there, it's going to cut one of the birds off. So I have to rotate it from here. Once it's in blue, that's when you know it's selected. And from here, you rotate your photo and adjust it how you may want it. So. And do it again here. And adjust. So once everything is positioned the way you want and you have to be mindful of the edges because it will cut some of the edges off. This one I'm going to rotate it going in the opposite direction because if it cuts off a little of my hand here I won't mind but I don't want it to cut off the bird's feet. So here some of this pink is liable to be cut off here some of the black here I may lose that and I may lose some of the handle on my mug and also like the top and bottom I will lose some of my mat down here and some of this black and a little bit of this bird sadly may be lost but I can't um I really can't adjust it anymore because there's no more room to push it over so from here this is where you would save this um save it in Pixart because everything is okay with it and once it's saved in Pixart then you can go ahead on and download it to your gallery hit OK and it should be saved to my gallery so now that the photo is in my gallery this is where the fun begins we click here on the Canon print this is the app okay the Canon print app and from there you want to click tap on photo print and a selection of your photos will come up and I want to print 
the collage that I just made. I guess I'll print three, print out three different prints for you guys. I'll print out the one I just made and two, maybe three. Okay, so I'll print out all together. I'll print out four prints. And it is showing that I have four images selected. And from here, I hit print. And it'll show the images at the top and hit print again. And now it is working. The printer is also busy. Showing busy. And in a minute, it should start printing. And you just leave your screen just as it is, as it's showing busy. And one other thing I forgot to mention in my video where I showed that my paper had come in, this paper is not sticker paper. I accidentally made that mistake because on my L I also have the LG Pocket Printer. And when it shows a corner like that, that means I'm purchasing the sticker paper. If the corner is laid flat, then it means that I'm purchasing just um, regular flat paper. So that's how I made that mistake. I'm not sure if this printer even comes with sticker paper. I have to look more into it. But here we go. It is beginning to print. First photo and like I said I was going to lose a little bit of my mug handle and I did so it is continuing to work on the other photos And then another thing, um, with each photo it prints, your screen changes. So I'm trying to get it in there. See the screen, it's busying with this photo because that one is next. And I'm going to pause until these photos are finished so that I don't waste time, time watching the machine stay busy. So here we go guys, the absolutely awesome results of that printing. And keep in mind all the spots that you see cut out is kind of a result of my bad editing. editing. And if I would, like I showed you in the beginning, rotate the photos a little more then you can kind of get it to print how you want you have to kind of judge what spots will be cut off that's why this one is rotated more upside down because i knew i didn't want any of the bird cut off here so this is just 
this is the result of what the prints look like. And oh, look really, really nice. And I hope that this was helpful for you all. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.